Hi, it's Brian. This is the Awards Contender, and I'm very excited to bring you my review of the very first film I saw at the Telluride Film Festival this year, Rustin, starring Coleman Domingo. I wanted to start off my very first Telluride weekend on a high note, and I decided to catch Rustin first. I arrived in town at like 5 p.m. that Friday, and at 6 o'clock, I was in a theater about to watch Rustin. I really didn't know much about the movie. I had not seen the trailer yet. I had just looked at a couple stills and I had a very basic idea of what the movie was about. I knew it was directed by George C. Wolfe who directed Ma Rainey's Black Bottom a few years ago, an excellent film. And I knew this was a true story, a biopic about Bayard Rustin, a gay civil rights activist who really made a difference in the 1960s. I love when we get biopics about figures who may not be quite as well known as some other figures we see in other biopic movies. I do think that's the case for Rustin. I was not aware of this man before seeing the movie, and now I want to read up all about him, what an extraordinary life he led, what amazing things he did for this country. And this was an especially unique experience for a biopic in that this is about a gay man when it was really, really difficult to be yourself. Bayard Rustin is played by the openly gay actor Coleman Domingo, who has won an Emmy, who's been nominated for a Tony. Like this is an exceptional actor. There are a lot of great things about this movie. It has an amazing ensemble cast but Coleman Domingo is the show. He is the reason to see this movie. It is such a remarkable performance. He inhabits Rustin to such an extent that for periods of this movie, like I didn't even know where the actor began and where the character ended. They are a perfect fit here and Coleman Domingo just gives this role his all. He is so gifted as a performer. He has so much presence and he was perfectly cast for this role in this movie. He is in almost every scene and there are just so many quirks to his personality, to his physical attributes. He's missing a tooth throughout this film so when he smiles, when he talks, I mean your eyes really gravitate toward that and then you learn later in the movie why he has a missing tooth and it's actually very emotional. Rustin is a man who had highs and definitely lots of lows in his life. I mean, in the opening few minutes, he is fired from his job and basically has to go do something that he doesn't have a lot of passion for. And much of the movie is bringing Rustin back up to where he was before, trying to make a difference, wanting to do something good and necessary for African Americans, for the civil rights movement. I mean, he is just extraordinary in this. Now, as a movie, I had a few issues with it. Some of the scenes in the film felt too short. Like I felt like just as I was getting into the rhythm of the dialogue, typically of two people having a back and forth, we'll cut to another scene pretty fast. And I wanted the movie to slow down a little bit. I think it's about an hour and 45 minutes. I don't say this often, but I do think this film would have been helped by an additional 20 to 25 minutes. Some of this movie feels too brief. I wanted to sit with some of these emotional moments in the movie a little bit longer, especially at the end. I had a really weird experience with Rustin. This doesn't happen in too many movies where I was feeling pretty good about it. I was liking it, if not loving it, but then I found the ending so rushed that I walked out of the theater a little bit disappointed. I felt like something was missing, like we needed another couple scenes at the end. Like what happens at the end of this movie, at the end of the story, is so important and emotional, but the way the movie treats it is a little too rushed, a little too quiet. Like the ending of this movie could have been stronger. And then when it comes to the cast, I was pretty happy with most of the performances. My favorite performance in the film outside of Coleman Domingo is Johnny Ramey as Elias Taylor, a closeted gay man who has a wife, who has a family, who is just really taken with Rustin and tries to make some kind of a relationship work. Their scenes in the film are electric. Like I love their chemistry and what comes of that relationship is kind of expected, but Raimi gives that character a pained inner life that I really responded to. 
I loved him in this, and I think he should be in the supporting actor conversation. I don't know how well Rustin is going to do at the Academy Awards, if it's going to be considered for anything other than Best Actor for Domingo, but Johnny Ramey is fantastic in this. And then the great Audra McDonald has one amazing scene at the beginning of this movie, and then we never see her again. I was so disappointed. I wanted to see more of her in this. She is so wonderful at the beginning. I do feel like the role of Tom, played by Gus Halper, could have been better written. It's a little bit one note, this guy who has a thing for Rustin, and that character never really goes anywhere. He's often in the background in the second half of the movie. I felt like the screenplay could have done a little bit more with that character, explored more of that relationship with Rustin. And then the one big distracting casting choice that took me out of the movie pretty much every time he was on screen was Chris Rock. Sometimes Chris Rock can be good in a film. He can be a good dramatic actor, as he showed on Fargo. But boy, there was just something about his mannerisms as Roy Wilkins in this movie that just did not land very well with me. They make him up to look older in this movie. He has gray hair, and I think there's even a little bit of prosthetics on his face, but it's just kind of awkward. I feel like if they had cast a lesser known actor in that role, that would have been the better way to go. Chris Rock I found to be just too distracting in this. He's too well known of an actor, and he doesn't really do anything with the character to make him different from Chris Rock. So I found that to be an issue as I watched the film. Rustin does has its flaws. I had some issues with the screenplay, with Chris Rock, with the ending. But overall, this is absolutely a movie to recommend. I think you should see it mostly for the Coleman Domingo performance. I mean, I do think in the overall scope of cinema in 2023, this is going to go down as one of the great performances of the year. Best Actor is extremely competitive this year. There's easily seven, eight, nine people who could get in. I do hope that Coleman Domingo makes that final five. I do get a little nervous because I don't think the movie is amazing that it might be one of those cases where he gets sixth or seventh place and doesn't quite make it in. But what Coleman Domingo has done with this character in this property is really fantastic. I am never going to forget this performance. I loved it. Every choice he makes as an actor in the quiet scenes, in the big emotive scenes, Domingo gets to do it all in this film. I hope this role in this movie is going to lead to lots more amazing performances from Domingo. I've already heard great things about his performance in Sing Sing, which played at the Toronto Film Festival, and then he has a role in the upcoming The Color Purple. So this might be a weird situation where, come Oscar nominations morning, Domingo is snubbed in Best Actor for Rustin, but then he's like a surprise nomination in Supporting Actor for The Color Purple, like that could happen. Like he's clearly doing some amazing work in film right now and his time at the Oscars is coming. I am very hopeful he gets in for best actor at the Oscars for Rustin. I do think as of this moment, that's the only nomination that could happen for this movie. I don't see it getting into best picture, best director, any of the other acting categories. I mean, possibly screenplay. So yeah, overall, I liked Rustin. I didn't love it but I absolutely loved with my whole heart the Coleman Domingo performance. As a gay person myself, I was really taken with his lovely, authentic portrayal of an important figure in LGBTQ history. I give Rustin a seven out of 10. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned in the coming days for more reviews from the Telluride Film Festival, including Anatomy of a Fall, The Zone of Interest, and The Bike Riders. We'll see you next time at the Awards Contender.